that's ironic. Came here to do some shooting and look who's down there. That's where our target holder is. That's where Turkey Boy is. Wow, that's a big one. Beautiful. All right, so the goal today is to figure out number one question. Is a uh, turkey choke worth it? Is it necessary? I'm pretty sure I have my answer already, seeing as I've gone four years with proving my answer. I'm a pretty new hunter. I've only been hunting for four years, and every year I've gotten a turkey um, without one, so I guess we'll see if this changes my mind. I bought one, so I'll probably end up using it. I think I have pretty good perspective, seeing as I'm pretty new to the sport, but uh, I don't know. I, I I didn't start using one, so let's see uh, if the you know if the choke really improves it that much to the point where I feel like I would have to recommend it. You know, I got a couple of buddies that just got into it, so I kind of have an opportunity to guide them. So yeah, we have a Carlson choke, um, Longbeard XR pairing with the ammo. So let's see how it does. We're gonna shoot twice with the choke that I've been using forever. I believe it's just a full choke or whatever comes on the gun. And then we're gonna switch it up and shoot twice. It's about 35 yards. See so yeah, how I should be guiding my, my buddies. Whether or not I'll tell them to buy it or not. All right, so um, after that regular choke, Super X, not long beard, we have about 16 kill shots. I mean, you can see it, did pretty well. It's better to see it on that side. You know, pretty decent amount. So that's a down turkey. Right, let's move on to the next one. Let's do no choke, long beard. That thing kicked. <laughs> it's gonna hurt when I don't have a huge car hard on. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so this is Longbeard XR and we have really, I don't know, one, two, three, four, 19 maybe. There's two in the body. So, you know, pretty comparative, you know, pretty similar. Look at, if you look at the pattern, got a lot of action over here. Pretty all over the place. And I mean, this is an accurate testing because this is how I would shoot in the field. You know, I'm not setting it up so it's perfect. Both are dead birds. Pretty much what I'm saying. But let's check out how much it improves it. And this is also the range that I would shoot a bird at. The whole situation is pretty accurate. I mean, let's see, let's see how it really improves it. So when changing this thing out, first thing I always do, obviously, uh, it's always unloaded. And I try to keep the action open. That way, I know, you know, safety's on. No funny business, no funny business, especially when we're playing with the end of the barrel. They sent me that, so that was nice. So this is what it looks like. Pretty handsome, if you ask me. It makes it look snazzy. Toss it in there. Twist it in like so. And at the end of things, that's what it looks like. All right. Let's test it out. Back to the Super X and then XR. So, I don't know if you're able to see that. But that's pretty redneck. <laughs> Got it stuck in with sticks through old bullet holes in the target. All right, Super X. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on uh, showing you the two shots using chokes because uh, I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> just wait, just wait until we do this. Not that big of a deal, but kind of a big deal. Oh. 
Alright. Let's go take a peek at it. Alright, so we got the results in. I got them all hung up here. These two right here are no choke. Those are with the choke. So we had 14 uh, kill shots in this. This is the Super X no choke. This is the XR no choke. I think this had like 19. Um, but you can see the pattern, it's kind of scattered. A little bit all over, a little bit all over. Well, here's where I'll put my foot in my mouth. You can just see so much on the paper. I mean, I'm not a pro shooter, but this is 35 yards. Look at those chunks right there. I was aiming for like the center of the neck, uh, just because the paper's pretty small and I didn't want to, I wanted to see more where, I was aiming for really the center of the paper, not the center of the neck, just to see the pattern. So, I mean, if I was aiming right there and swapped it out for the head, you know, that's, that's some damage right there. And that's the Super X. So that's the two and three quarter inch Super X. Now here's where I'm just, yeah, look at that. That was pretty much right where I was aiming. That just threw that lot of them right there. I, I don't even know, I don't know how to count, you know. I probably, uh, probably shanked it right because I knew how much kick was coming. I mean, it kicks a lot. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough, but whatever. So you can just see, I'll definitely be using a choke. <laughs> All right, now to answer the question, is a choke necessary? I'd say no. The reason I say that is because I don't want a new hunter, someone who's just starting out to think, oh, if I don't get this, I'm not gonna get a turkey. I've gotten plenty of turkeys without one. Uh, it's just a tool. It's just an extra tool. It's like a better scope or uh, better gun, better uh, warmer clothes. It's, it's just something that heightens it. I mean, it, it, it's definitely not a necessity. I like the pattern better. I think it might be better, um, you know, for efficiency, for, I, I don't want to wound an animal, definitely. But I mean, I'm not going to shoot a turkey unless it's real close like that. Um, so I'm going to go with the answer for the common man. No, no, I don't think so. It's definitely an improvement, but, uh, don't beat yourself up. Don't go get one if you don't think you need one. Um, and if you do, make sure you look at what type of gun you have. Um, I bought mine off Amazon and I have a Remington and chokes are gun specific a lot of the time. Um, and they have different patterns that they throw. Um, I think this one was a 660. No idea what that means. I'm not an uh, equipment nerd, but I think it's important to address this subject because as a new hunter, I've contemplated it for four years. Ended up buying it. I'll definitely be using it because it's definitely an improvement, but uh, no, I don't think it's necessary. I think it's more important to figure out how to hunt and get close to them and make a smart shot. And those 14 or 19 or whatever that I got without the choke, and I, that's a, the choke I was using before the turkey choke was just what the gun came with. So I, I think that's a full or whatever, but uh, it'll do the job. I've killed four turkeys with it, so you're good. Just go have fun. And maybe four years down the line, you'll get it. <laughs> and that'll be fun. I don't know if anyone's ever gonna watch this video, but if you do, thank you. And if you have questions, more if you have advice for me, since I'm a noob, I, my pride it won't be hurt. I, I'll beat myself up more than anyone else can. So if you have advice for me, tips for me, turkey, deer, life, <laughs> Um, I'd love to hear from you so yeah